Am I laughing? Is this supposed to be funny? Like, I don't it was know. it was really crazy, but you did a great job. Like, well, there were times you. when I would watch you, and I was like, I hate that guy. Like, yeah. and that's great because we're standing there on set and just like looking at you play this character that was just so heavy yet could yeah. have such tender moments. Oh my gosh, yeah. it was it was crazy. And it was hard. It was hard for me actually, but you know because um, I had to be mean to you guys. But. You know. I know when you love us. I love you to death. <laughs> it was so you hard. Love us. Like the day that I had to be mean to you, I had to go back to the trailer. I'm like, wow, you know. <laughs> I wanted to just come to your trailer so many times. It's like, I'm sorry, but I'm like, no, Satin wouldn't tell her he's sorry. <laughs> Satin wouldn't do that. Yeah, so. I understand. Here, yeah. read me one. All right, cool. All right, Jordan. Did you see the original movie? And what was your first impression when you seen it? I saw the original actually last year in around this time, actually. Okay. Feb February-ish. February. Um, and I remember watching it, and the first thing I thought was Irene Kara walked into the screen, and I was like, "Wow, we can be twins!" Like ah. it was so crazy. There's a lot of similarities between yeah. me and her in in terms of like our face and our facial features and. It was just really, really crazy to see her. And then, you know, watching the story and just getting involved with all the different characters, I really liked it. And plus, I love music mm -hmm. and I love anything that has to do with music and, you know, you know, stories that, you know, they, they go through their ups and downs and tragedies oh, and, yeah. and triumphs. And I, I really, really liked the movie. I loved the music. Mm -hmm. And right after I saw it, I bought the original soundtrack, which wow. Aretha Franklin did and absolutely killed incredible um, yeah so I was just I loved the movie and then you know I, I did the audition and then I was just like once they once I got the call that I got it I was like I don't want to watch it too many times because I wanted to put my own spin on what sparkle exactly, was you know exactly. so I watched it one more time just to get the feel of it and then I was just like okay that's it's got to stay over there okay. yeah but okay. I loved it I really liked it well they couldn't have found a better sparkle and I just want to say that thanks to all you guys, online fans, sending such great questions. These questions are really great, Jordan. You guys are awesome. You guys are so amazing. Hold on, we're going to do just a couple more. Do we have time for a couple more? Yes? Time for a couple more? Okay, good. All right, oh. cool. Okay, Mike, here all we right, go. I'm going to have a good time. Okay. Oh, wow, there's new ones. Okay, he just, he, she just emailed them to us. Sparkle. Sparkle. Man, Sorry. I'll I couldn't wait to get on that set every day, man. The, the extras on the set were, they just fit in. They just were like great furniture for the movie. Exactly, which leads to this question. What was your favorite moment on set? My favorite moment on the set, I think I got to say. Um, it's hard to pick a favorite. Wow, it is. Well, one of my favorite moments on the set was definitely when we were in the dining area. Oh my God, I knew you were going to say that. And I couldn't get my lines right. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody kept laughing, but Ooh. I had to hang in there, you know what I mean? But I think that was a really, really fun day. <laughs> I, I think the gag reel could be that entire scene. We were there, how long did we shoot? I think 12 hours. Yeah, we shot maybe like and, 12 hours. But it was the one scene because there were so many different angles that we had to get. But Mike, you were just so Michael Bay. You remember Mike was sitting with the glasses. He kept messing up on his. Like, Everybody's messing their lines up, but we all just started. And I'm so glad that I didn't have one there because uh, I probably would have too. They he had the walk in the room, and you'll see this when you see the movie. Um, but him and sister walk into the room, and it's kind of like where they're introducing each other for the first time. And Mike is supposed to say something funny. And we all don't find it funny, but he was saying it and then messing up, so then it was hilarious. And that was just not how the scene was supposed to go. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. I was crying. It me was and Tika crazy. could not hold it together. And you guys made me laugh. I kept I'm hearing sorry. That. I'm sorry. It was one of those like, silent hey. laughs where you just couldn't breathe. And then Whitney <laughs> was, was like, fun. keep it together, y'all. Keep yeah. it together. Yeah. And that just made us laugh even harder. It did. She had me on the floor laughing, man. Oh, my gosh. She was She, she was, was incredible. That was such a good moment. All right, Jordan. <laughs> what are the memories of seeing Whitney Houston before oh, before she passed? Um, well, going off of uh, 
the favorite moment of that dining room scene. It was really cool to be around her because wow. not only did I love her growing up and listen to her music and sing it all over the place and have sang it before, um, you know, before I met her or was involved in the movie, being able to be with her on set was a whole nother experience in and of itself. Yeah, right. She was really down to earth. She was, when you say the phrase, she was real, like Sorry. that was what Whitney Houston was. Right. She was like, I know you're not coming at me like that. Like uh. she would tell you how it was. Oh, yeah. And um, it was just really fun to be around her. And then there were special moments that, you know, me and her had like the one at the piano oh, and yeah. um, just, you know, sitting around and sometimes I'd be singing under my breath and she would just be like, you know, have you heard of this singer or this singer? And I was like, no, she's like, I'm going to send it to you because I know your voice can handle it. And wow. hearing that from her, it's a great compliment, but hearing it from her, someone who's just so That's amazing right. and is considered the voice, like, I would just have these moments where I was like, had to pinch myself, like, is this really happening? Right. But she was funny, too. She, she was, was hilarious. She was hilarious. And that's the part that I, I, I enjoyed from Whitney Houston, was getting a good laugh from her. Yeah. She was great. We love yeah. Her. Okay, we have a couple more minutes, so we're going to take a few more questions. Here, Mike, let me find you one. Come back. We're going to come back after a small cereal commercial break. Cereal commercial break? Yeah. Sony Kellogg. <laughs> okay, hold on. Sony Apple getting, Jack. We're getting so many picture, er, pictures. We're getting so many questions in. Okay, here Is that my go. baby mama asking me questions on there? When am I going to play gonna, my I was going to skip that <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was going to skip that I'm one, but if, you, if you'd like to tell her, I'm I mean. I'm just kidding. Um, let's see. Mm, I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, hey Mike, if you had to pick a movie related to Sparkle, which would you choose and why? If I had to pick a movie that was relatable to Sparkle, and which movie and why? Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Yeah, there's so many great movies that I could compare it to that are just, um, like what kind I would of love to say Dream Girls. I, I would yeah. I would love to say Dream Girls, and and the reason why I would love to say Dream Girls was because uh, of the the music arrangements mm -hmm. and the, the dressing and uh, mm -hmm. some of the 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 drama and and some of the the episodes that happened in Dream Girls were sort of similar, mm -hmm. but not as quite as good as in our movie. <laughs> I it must say. I mean, it's the same, It's like set around the same era, and it's it's yeah. similar with the three girls and going through all that and drugs and yeah. all craziness that happens. Right. Um, but yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. I think so. I like our music. Okay, hold on. Oh, you find me one. Okay, cool. Okay. <sighs> okay. What does the film soundtrack sound like? And what will the first single be? Oh, that's a good question. Um, the soundtrack is awesome. It has all the original songs uh, that we did from the original film. And um, there are some original songs, new original songs that were just written as well. R. Kelly did an amazing job. There's a song with CeeLo. There's a song with Guapale. Um, there's a song with me and Whitney. And um, I think we're working on some new music as well. Hopefully we'll get to do it. So we don't know what the first single is going to be. But um, just to add to that in closing, um, the last song that Whitney did was a song with me called Celebrate. And uh, it's a really, really fun song. Working with her was an incredible thing. I didn't get to be in studio with her, but um, I got to hear the song the other day. And I was just sitting and... I was just so excited to be able to have that experience to like mm. to work with her and um, to to be a part of that. I mean, I, I did a song <laughs> with Whitney Houston like that. That's huge. It like is. that is that is humongous. And they don't get no bigger. Yeah. And she sounds great. And on the show, I mean, on the show, on the movie, like I think people are really going to enjoy, you know, what yeah. they see. What do you think? Like she think was so. great when she came on set. She was incredible. Uh, you know, and I tell people all the time, I think Whitney was just as as, as an, a great actress as she was a singer. Yeah. So people are going to be really, uh, yeah. 
They're going to be really surprised and yeah. uh, satisfied with her acting yeah. in this movie. I'd agree with that. It was She'd been working on it for a long time, so it was literally like her baby. She'd come to set every day, and she was glowing, and she was so excited, and she was so happy to see all of us. And, um, you know, there were times, actually, that we spent off the set. Like, we didn't do it a lot, but there was a time when we went to Cliff Bells, and, like, all of us were there sitting together and listening to great music, and she was there, and it was just really fun to be able to do that. So thank you guys so, 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 so much for tuning in. Thank you. We love you. Thank you for your questions. Make sure you follow us. That's right, at The Real Mike Caps. At Jordan Sparks. Follow at Sparkle Movie, and please check out Facebook.com slash Sparkle. That's okay? right. Check follow it out. Follow it. Updates, video, promos, yes. maybe ticket giveaways, who knows? This movie's going to be off the hook. You got to go see it. It's a must-see. Take your family. Mm -hmm. Sparkle. We'll see you there, okay? Hope you enjoy it. 2012. August 17th. Holla, holla, peace. <laughs>